Hi, in this video we continue the changing the ID code of the Saga 1 L10 devices using the USB cable and the computer program. Here is our USB cable connected to USB and then if you are using any operating system, any Windows or something, you should find this USB defined which COM port. For that one, you need to go to your control panel in the computer. Here we have Windows XP. So we go to Start. Then we select in the setting. In the setting, we will select Control Panel. In the Control Panel, we look for the icon systems. Which is here in the one, two, three, third row, last right in our computer. In your computer, it could be somewhere else. Double click on the system icon. System icon in our system is in fourth row, last right. Double click on that, and another window will be open here. In that window, choose the tab mentioned hardware. This could be different in other windows. Then select device manager. And on the menu you find the ports, COM and LPT. Open the plus and you will see that our cable which is right profilic USB to serial COM port is on COM3. We need this number COM3 to adjust our program. Okay, you can close that. Remember that COM3. In the next step, go and open the Saga 1 L10 program. Then, in the setting of the COM port, which is an icon in 4 icon right side, you have this. Then open that and make sure the COM3 is chosen, as you can see in our program right here. Okay, this is good. Everything is okay. Now the next step is connecting the USB cable to the transmitter. Open the battery cap, remove the batteries, and connect the USB cable on the same connector. Remember that. Copy here and USB cable using the same connector. Now everything is connected, come back to your system. Go and press on the bottom and show read data. Okay, after a while you will see the main window shows that read data successful. Press OK. Now the data of your system is available on the screen. The important part here is the ID code. You can find it in this place. So this is the ID code you have. And when you are matching a transmitter and receiver, this ID code must be matched together. If you read a program, you can save it on your computer by clicking on the disk icon over there or going to menu of the file and then save it. So, we go to the file, then select the save, then choose a path, write a name for your program, which normally we use the, the same serial number of the system or whatsoever, we write the name. 1004-1568 then we can save it and save data file is successful press OK so next time whether you want to write the same program is already loaded or you want to load a program from your computer just choose the open command bring the program over here and when you want to write the data just click on the write data command on your screen Now the data is written on the transmitter. Please remember, sometimes you write the data on the computer, on a file in your computer, and sometimes you write the same data on the transmitter. Now write setting is successful. Press OK. Everything is done. So this is the way you can program the transmitter using the computer software. Thank you.